Hi everyone, this is uh, Dean AC9JQ and I promised um, a few people that I would do this video. Um, this is my TIA transceiver um, that I just finished up a few about a week ago and um, I just thought I'd give you an overview of um, how it works and what I've done and how I built it. Um, the Over on the one side here is the, the power entry and power control and power regulators for the um, SI5351 and the display controller. I have an um, Arduino uh, Pro Mini and the SI5351 is down below there and of course a nice display up in front and volume tuning upper lower side band and eventually a 4020 selector switch. I have my TIA amplifiers. Uh, there's this first one coming in, it's bi directional. And then I have two more underneath it with my um, homebrew double balance mixers. And then a crystal filter, which is running at 4.975 megahertz, I believe. And that comes out of this product detector here, it becomes audio goes up to my audio amplifiers over here and on the there's the uh, receive input amplifier and the bandpass filters are underneath for both the 40 and 20 meters and the low pass filters for the transmit output are under there as well for 40 and 20 meters and here's my buffer driver and my final amplifier all in all, a nice little compact unit. Um, I'll turn up the volume and let you hear it a little bit. I guess they didn't have... Uh... I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to do that. And I have made one contact into Michigan. I'm in southern Indiana, so um, about a 260 mile commute by um, um, QSO. And that was no, with I, the that, atmospheric conditions not at, this, at its best, and I'm not running a very optimal antenna right now. So hopefully, in the next week or so, I'll have a nice dipole put up so I can communicate better. Anyway, that's my TIA transceiver. Thanks.